So far, we discussed linear and logistic regression. But you might remember other variants of the regression from your math or statistic courses, such as the Rich or Lasser regression. In this video, we will briefly talk about variants of the regression methods we have already heard about. So, without further ado, let's recap once again what we know so far. Regression tries to fit the function, in our case linear logistic, to a set of data points such that the sum of squared errors is minimal. We also learned about the concept of overfitting and that we can use regularization to counteract this behavior. This is exactly what rich and loss regression does. Both variants simply add a regularizing term to the initial optimization objective of minimizing the sum of squared errors. To give you more details, the rich regression uses the so-called L2 regularization. The L2 regularization simply adds a penalty in the form of the learnable parameters. To be precise, we add the sum of squared coefficients, so in the example of the linear regression, we simply add a squared. This term usually comes with an additional hyperparameter, alpha, such that we can control how much of the regularization we want to add. The idea behind the L2 regularization is to keep the coefficients as small as possible while still having a good performance on the dataset. This can lead to a significant boost in performance over regression without regularization. Similar to this, the Lasso regression also adds a regularization term, this time around the so-called L1 regularization. Instead of trying to keep the coefficients overall at a small value, but still influential, the L1 regularization causes coefficients that are not important for our prediction to go towards zero. The term that is added is simply just the sum of absolute values of the coefficients, once again coming with a hyperparameter alpha. So to sum up, if you have a dataset where many features have small to medium influence on the prediction, the rich regression might be the one you're looking for. However, if you only have a few features, but they have a rather big influence on the prediction, and many others are less important, then the last regression could work wonders for you. Regardless of the regularization, however, there are still some datasets that cannot be solved with linear or logistic regression, or, well, at least not in a satisfactory way. If you look at our example dataset here, we could imagine a good fitting function to look something like this. But obviously, this is nowhere near being linear, and it also does not really look like a logistic sigmoid. So another variant of the regression is the polynomial regression. The idea behind it is the same as with linear regression, where we are optimizing the sum of squared errors. The difference, however, comes with the number of learnable parameters. As the name suggests, Instead of using a linear function, we increase the order and use polynomials. The highest degree of the function you want to fit can usually also be specified with a hyperparameter. Otherwise, if this limit would not exist, your algorithm could more or less just find a polynomial of high order that completely overfits to your training dataset. Which, of course, is not really what you want to do. So to summarize, choosing the correct variant of regression for your problem setting at hand comes down to, you and to your understanding of the dataset as well as experimenting with different settings. Sometimes it can be quite surprising what works well and what doesn't.